Vanderbilt and Arkansas will tip off the SEC tournament on Wednesday night. Uh, it's at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern is when the tip is slated for. It'll be exciting to get things kicked off. Uh, the game itself, I think it would be fair to classify this as a game between two teams that expected more from themselves this season. Uh, that is Subi of Theater and College Hoops. I am Brian Ralph of Feature TVB here on the Sleepers Media YouTube channel. We'll be bringing you previews and recaps of every game for the SEC tournament. So we're getting started with game one in Subi. Um, Arkansas did not expect to be here. Arkansas probably expected to have the double bye and be one of the top four seeds, but instead they find themselves uh, one of the bottom four seeds. If you are Arkansas and you are Eric Musselman, how are you approaching both this week and this game, knowing that you wanted more for the season, and this is this is kind of your last chance? Well, it's it's kind of interesting, and I'm talking to a South Carolina Gamecock fan here, and I I, I have to commend you on such a wonderful season, but you probably thought you'd be in this game. Yes, I have one thousand percent, one thousand percent. Meanwhile, it's Arkansas, so I think what you have to do, Ralph, is do your best to build momentum from that terrific performance in Tuscaloosa. And it, it's funny, both and Vanderbilt had a great game also against Florida and they actually won that game. And I was saying to myself, why did these two teams have to actually show me something? Because it's making, I guess, this prediction a bit more difficult, but for Arkansas, you essentially outplayed a top 16 team, top 20 Ooh. team on the road for 38 minutes and you let go of the rope. Okay. Better team won, and again, it was on the road. Tuscaloosa is a tough place to play. I think, Ralph, what you have to do is just try and bottle that and take it into this year – or, excuse me, this tournament and mm. take it game by game. Yeah, I, I think so, too. And if you even go back a couple of weeks, this Arkansas team, a couple Saturdays ago, they were beating Kentucky and Rupp for the majority of that game, scored 102 against them, gave up 111, but played well in that game, too. Week before that, they had wins over AM, handled Missouri in the way that you would expect a good team to handle Missouri. The one puzzling result that's kind of been in this last six games for Arkansas was a home loss to Vanderbilt. And you mentioned Vanderbilt kind of closing strong. They had that Arkansas win. They closed with Florida, only nine wins on the season, four and 14 in SEC play for the Commodores. But I don't want to say they're playing their best basketball at the best time because I don't know if this is like a good brand of basketball but they have more momentum than they've had really at any point this season. They definitely do. Uh, and I think the bar is just incredibly low as you had alluded to. And you talk about a team that finished strong last year. I think there were some bubble talks and folks were saying, well, it's not a disappointing year. We're going to see what stack cows can do carrying into this season. Mm -hmm. And then first game of the year, they lose to Presbyterian, which actually may have been a bit of a warning sign. Vandy, uh, they find slightly more success, Ralph, in higher-paced games, but that's actually where Arkansas thrives even more. It's almost like Vanderbilt's like a, a diet Arkansas, a diet hog, if you will. Uh, so I think Vandy's going to have to slow the pace down, limit possessions on both sides. Um, I don't I'm not really moved by the Commodores on either side of the ball, offense or defense. Yeah. Uh, at least Arkansas is decent on offense, but as it relates to how they've been playing, yeah, they've been playing pretty well. Um, but I, I just think Arkansas is a straight up better team. So what has to happen for Van Bill if they're going to pull the upset? What we always, we joked uh, on what Lucas Harkins, when we did the Big East preview, we talked about DePaul and Villanova and DePaul side. Like, aside from making every shot, what do they have to do to win? And Arkansas is heavily favored here. So for Vanderbilt, aside from making every shot, which obviously would help, what what's the biggest key for them in pulling the upset? For me personally, I think it's slowing the pace down and limiting the possessions. Uh, I think if you can identify either Khalif Battle or Makai Mitchell, like pick your poison there because they both had a terrific game in Tuscaloosa, but if you can identify one of those guys to slow down, limit the possessions and really muck it up a little bit more than Arkansas wants, I think you're in good shape there for the Commodores. Anything else I'm missing though? I want to get your feedback on what the key is. I don't think so. I mean, there, there's going to be a ton of bricks in this game. Like just looking at three point shooting Vanderbilt's one of the 10 worst three point shooting teams in the country. Arkansas isn't much better, barely in the top 300. Like, th this is going to be a game that's one inside. I trust Arkansas's bigs more than I trust Vanderbilt's. 
Um, I, I trust Arkansas athleticism and just the, the raw talent that they have has to win out at some point. Right. And they are playing better of late. I'm going to trust that a little bit more. Um, it, it would not surprise me if the must bus kind of packed it in for next year, but I think that may happen on Thursday as opposed to this game against Vanderbilt. But we'll get into our predictions now. And the predictions are brought to you by my bookie. If you're still in the hunt for a sportsbook to call home, you can bet the nonstop action of March Madness or the SEC tournament with my bookie. You can enter bracket contest for a chance to take home prizes up to $25,000. Pick from a huge selection of straight bets, props, and odds boosts. Whatever your style, my bookie makes it easy to play your way and they get paid, which is the most important part. You sign up now and take advantage of our generous welcome offer. Score a massive first deposit bonus of up to $1,000. All you have to do to claim that is use promo code SLEEPERS. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can get up-to-the-minute odds, free bets, next predictions from people like us to help you decide who to put your money on. Best part about my bookie, you can bet on anything, anytime, from anywhere. Use promo code SLEEPERS to secure your limited-time welcome bonus today. Subi, I tip my hand a little bit there. I'm going with the Hogs. Um, probably by double digits. I don't, I don't think a Vanderbilt upset would be like the most shocking thing in the world here, but I would expect Arkansas to win comfortably. What, what's your prediction? Yeah, I think I tip my hand as well. And I'm, I'm not in the business of uh, trying to hold out or, or create suspense. I'm taking Arkansas as well, but I do want to rationalize it real quick with three key points, which I think we've done a good job of bringing up. But first and foremost, we talk about the last game out for both of these teams. Impressive from both, considering where they were. I am more impressed, though, with an Arkansas team going on the road against a better team in Bama than Florida is. Uh, and Vandy playing at home senior day. I don't necessarily know if they're still playing for Stackhouse. I think they were playing for the seniors. Um, so that's advantage Arkansas last time out. Uh, you had mentioned the rosters. I'm very glad you did that. We're talking about Tremont, Mark Khalif Battle, Makai Mitchell, Trayvon Brazil. Devo Davis, even L. Ellis. Uh, it's better. It's better than Vanderbilt's. No disrespect. So advantage, <laughs> Arkansas there. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, I do think Arkansas's style of play is going to win out. I think they're going to get up and down. And then if you really want to hammer it home, despite uh, the rumors surrounding Eric Musselman and his future, he is uh, the, the advantage goes to the Hogs in the coaching department as well. So I'm going to go with the Hogs also. This is the time when must shines for better or for worse, matter what happens later this season. This is the time when must shines. So we'll see what happens. But no matter what happens, we'll be back after the game to break down either an Arkansas win or a Vanderbilt upset. So make sure you like and subscribe.